Jeffro from Two Hacks Garage. Well, we're going to be back on that 311 cubic inch small block Chevy Ripper that's going to go in jumping jack flash, my nostalgia front engine dragster. In this video, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to check piston to valve clearance because if you notice on that engine, I have some pretty decent sized domes on that piston. And on top of it, the cylinder heads, which are over on the bench right there that I just got in from Promax, they have a pretty decently small chamber. I also want to make sure I also have spark plug to piston dome clearance. You don't want to get things fired up and realize that you smash it. Kind of a common thing when you start building high performance engines with dome pistons, you really need to make sure all your clearances are correct. You don't want to slam a piston into a spark plug and you definitely don't want to slam valves into the piston. That would be no bueno. It'd be a lot of money down the drain and it'd be a huge, huge headache. I don't want that to happen. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the steps of how to check pistons valve clearance you know, the simple high level way using Play-Doh. Yep. You know, that fun stuff that you mashed around and made little things with in grade school. Some kids even ate it. Yep. That Play-Doh right there. Let me show you what we're working with and what we're up against. All right. So first off, let's show you the piston. Mind you guys, this is a forged uh, sealed power uh, Speed Pro piston and it's a dome. And you can see there that it's a pretty large dome. Um, it does have the valve reliefs cut into it, so that's a good thing. Um, if you notice here, I got some black uh, marker. I've been checking some preliminary uh, spark plug clearance because you got to remember, spark plug sits about right here. And if you go in too far, it's going to clear or it's not going to clear and it's going to hit right there. So that's what we're working with. By the way, I am using a test head gasket. I'm going to be running Felpro uh, 1003 41,000 gaskets and this here, uh, like a test thickness, is about 33,000 test thickness gasket or completely crushed 28. So I got to factor that into when I start doing all this. But yeah, there we go. There's our domed piston. So what are we working with here? Well, I'll be using one of my Promax 185 series cylinder heads. Um, I'm not going to go into the sizes of ports flow and all that just yet. I'll do that when I go to install them. Um, but what else we're working with here? We are working with uh, Crower 1.5 ratio roller rockers. We're going to use those with the standard locks. Um, I do have my 5 16 push rods that I'm going to be using. Uh, lifters, I'm going to be using, you should really do this with a solid lifter. So I'm going to be using a couple of my new old stock EDM solid small block Chevy lifters. I'm going to be using my ARP uh, head bolts. I'm going to be using these helper springs because we're going to swap some springs out on here for the helper ones. Um, you're going to need a nice caliper set. You're going to need, in my case, what I'm doing is a sacrificial, um, head gasket. I know the thickness and all that. I got to take that into consideration. Um, but I'm also going to be using, you need a razor, razor blade. You're going to need a tool, which to remove and swap your valve springs, which I use this Proform one that screws on and you're going to need to be able to adjust your lash. So I have my Proform lash wrench set. Last but not least, the fun part, we get to all be kids again. You're going to be using some Play-Doh. That's right, Play-Doh. The whole theory behind this is, and we're gonna show you, is you put this in the piston valve reliefs, wherever else you wanna check it, and when you move your valves and all that fun magic happens, it'll leave imprints, and that's what you measure. So, you know what, guys? I'm rambling, let's go be kids, let's play with some Play-Doh, and let's find out if I actually have the clearance that I need. All right, so the first step of what I'm gonna do is I am gonna change out two valve springs and replace them with these helper springs. Uh, this is just a lot lighter. Um, it really does help with the process, um, adds a little bit more time, but you know what guys, it's kind of, uh, kind of needed. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my throw form, uh, valve spring removal tool. Uh, this thing works pretty well. Uh, in short, basically what you do is you screw it onto one of your rocker studs and you're going to use this lever push and you can remove your valves. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this now and, once I get this done, we can actually start setting everything else up. You know, the fun part, Play-Doh. All right, so I got the helper springs installed. And the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Play-Doh. I'm gonna put it in this valve relief pocket right here. I'm also gonna put a little bit right here. 
Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything set up and I'll explain it when I'm done. But I'm going to get it all set up. I'm going to get the gasket in place. I'm going to get the Play-Doh in place. I'll get the spark plug in. Um, I've already got my solid lifters in. I'll put the cylinder head on and I'll snug that up. I'll put my push rods in. I'll put my um, lifters in and set them to zero lash. And I'm doing that off the base circle. And then what I'm going to do is explain how that's all set up in there. Then after that, I'm going to rotate the engine over twice and we'll remove everything and then we'll check. But right now, we need to play with some Play-Doh. All right, so I have everything set up. It's, it's mocked up. You can see how these helper springs are going to come in handy. It's not going to have that much pressure. So I went ahead and I set these. We've got to remember these are solid lifters, but I set them at zero lash. That's going to replicate the hydraulic lifter that's going to be in here. I can still turn them. There's no slack. And all I got to do is I got to put the spark plug in here. And I've already indexed it. I've been working on indexing, which will be another video. Um, so I'm going index, to index that plug, get that put in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over twice. And once I turn it over twice, I'm going to take everything apart and we're going to check that Play-Doh. All right, so you can see some of the imprints that the valves made. Now, you got to mind you, this isn't a very high lift cam. Um, you can see how it kind of smushed down a little bit there. I did not have any clearance issues that I can see at all with the spark plug. So my indexing worked. Well, I'll explain that in another video, but you can see the valve imprint there. You can also see where it smashed down in here, which is your quench pads. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut that, and I'm going to measure in there to see how much clearance I have. All right, so here's a little bit better of an angle so you can see when I do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right along this one because I can see my valve imprint right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully, I'm going to slice that out. I'm going to pick this part out here. So you, you can see how that much clearance there is in there. And I'm not going to measure this piece. I'm going to measure right down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my calipers. And I'm going to use the end that is the depth measuring portion. And I'll show you that here in a second once I get it. Okay. So on the back side of a caliper, if you look here and you start moving it, you actually have a depth gauge. That's going to be able to measure depth. So you don't want to like go squishing on there. You kind of have to do this gently. So I'm going to go in here, just barely on top of that. And I have 215 thousandths clearance there. And on my piston to my quench pad, that seems to be right on the money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this portion and I'm going to be measuring that too. Now, mind you, what I'm going to do, I like to be uh, a little bit overly careful, if you want to say. Um, I'm going to do the exact same check on the other bank. Always check multiple cylinders on this. About 200 thousandths clearance on there. So, yeah, that's how you do that. That's pretty simple. Um, there's, mind you, if you're running high lift and you have large valves, you also want to check your radial valve clearance, which is that middle portion where your valve reliefs come together. Um, I really don't have any concern on that. I can see where it imprints like right here. So I'm going to cut this right down the middle.
kind of gauge where I'm at in there. Yeah, I'm not even close. A radial would be between the area of the imprint and the actual valve relief itself. Um, I can tell and I need to measure that. that that's a huge distance. So what I'm gonna do now that I got that checked, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. Uh, make sure you do do a really good job to clean that up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same check on the other side. wondering why I'm taking it apart before I even do it. I'm using the same cylinder head with those helper springs on this side. When I line it up here, well, duh, you reverse it. The springs are going to be there. And I was setting up there anyway, not a big problem. I just got to set the clay up in that one and we'll be back in business. Ah, you make mistakes. You learn. Well, there you have it. There is an easy way when you're building a mild to somewhat performance or stock engine, how to check your piston to valve clearance with Play-Doh. If you noticed, I didn't talk what the tolerances were gonna be or what they needed to be, or it was too close. The reason I didn't, you really need to consult with your build, what you're doing, your cam, your piston, your application, and go from there. I know in my application, I'm pretty well within spec. A couple tight areas that I might address, I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, guys, it's pretty simple. It's really taking your time, having the proper tools to do it, and you know what? It never hurts to double check. I went through just a little bit ago and went through a couple more pistons just to check. You gotta remember, I'm running domes, so with those domes, I really need to make sure that nothing goes slap, 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 and goes kaboom. So there you have it, guys. Checking your piston to valve clearance with Play-Doh. It's fun, kind of takes you back to being a kid again. And you know what? Having the peace of mind knowing that nothing's going to slap inside of there is always a good feeling. I'll tell you what, I'm really tired. I need to get some sleep. I need to get something to eat. And the next video, I'm thinking we're going to be putting the uh, intake manifold on there, getting lifters and all that crazy stuff put on. Till then, 2X Garage. We'll see you in the next one.